Hey everyone, I'm Alexis the Ego Queen, and welcome to this intermission episode of The Dark Heresy. This is the episode that explains a little bit of what's happening in between our latest mission and what is going to happen in the future. And I'll turn this over to Vicky, the GM. Hello everyone, this is going to be a bit different than usual, and I'll just... Uh, hit the ground running. After returning from the Underhive and the destruction of Feru Fane, the Acolytes arrive at Hestenhen's Manor for rest and recuperation. But there can be no rest for the soldiers of the Shadow War, and Ren sets out to report back to Inquisitor Hunt via Astropath. Standing before the bleak, pow uh, standing before the bleak tower of the Astrotelepathica in the apex of Hive Desolium, Ren prepares to deliver her report. You are standing before the ominous entrance to the Tower of Astropaths in the Apex. Various high, uh, high functionaries are wallowing to and fro the, uh, from the tower, as they no doubt send their various important communiques in, into the various planets of the sector. But you have a different goal in mind, and you must now, and you must now fill the Inquisitor in on your latest escapades. Astropath, have you connected me to the Inquisitor yet? The figure standing before you is usual of its kind, uh, his face sunken, his eyes hollow. As you connect you to the astropathic uh, choir within the tower, indeed, my lady, we have prepared different relay stations and are now able to communicate straight to Hunt. The auto Saiyans will be ready in but a few moments. Thank you. The astropath sits down into his into his uh, communication throne as plugs are are linked directly into the back of it, uh, into the sockets at the base of his neck. He sits down and opens his mouth. You can hear a strange echoing sound coming from his mouth. That was indeed a strange Acolyte sound. Acolyte Roseless, is that you? Inquisitor Hunt, I'm here to do a report on our latest mission. Ah yes, the Xenos Fragment. How uh, Lorisian has given an initial report that, that indeed it was connected to the further Xenos trade. I, yes. expect a, I expect a full report, Acolyte Roseless. Very well. <sighs> Where do I begin? It started at the Channel House. Channel House 17, to be precise. And we did find a Xenos artifact. My lord, this artifact was... This was a ruinous artifact. Yes, Larizian has confirmed as much, and your initial findings appear to be correlated with the other artifacts you found. Yes, we secured every single artifact that we could, everything related to this. The people of this, uh, this world, they would make great recruits for the Imperial Guard. Hmm. The Osman Grenadiers, no doubt, have functioning regiments. After we investigated the Channel House, we found the corpse of one Darnus Fane. The artifact was resting on top of him upon a pile of the dead. Hmm. What state were the dead in? <sighs> Rotted and decayed. Hmm. But... No. Killed you. This was... These men died only hours before this. They should not have been this decayed. And what do you suppose caused this decay, Acolyte Roseless? My lord, there was a name spoken. After we investigated a few of the other cults and households nearby, we discovered the leader of the Blessed Flesh, Farufain. A familial connection to the aforementioned Darnus, Fane? 
Yes. Brothers, perhaps, though this is unconfirmed. Mm. Continue. We ran into one of his commanding officers. He was bloated and pestilent. We that ran into... name you mentioned. Do not mention it. I yes, fear my lord. the soul before you would not appreciate it. Yes, my lord. After we encountered an, an, an army... It was bigger than any of the gangs that we've seen back down here. In fact, we actually need to call in help from a few of the gangs. Baltarvak was good with that. Indeed. He has sent the preliminary report ahead, and I have taken the time to study it. After we battled these creatures, these weren't humans. Maybe at some point they were, but not anymore. They have been corrupted by the archenemy, Acolyte Rosalis. You did well to put them down. Our party suffered some significant damage, but eventually we did bring down Pharaoh Fane. Hmm. Where did you find this Fane? In the lowest depths of an underhive. Hmm. And... Uh... How did you manage to get there? One Varnus Crimson, my lord. He is the leader of the Red Walk Gang, and an honorable man. Hmm. Do you trust this man? Yes. And where is he now? He's still in the Underhive, protecting it from whatever... Threats can be down there. Yes? He was a noble at some point. You believe this? The way he moves, acts, and his mannerisms are all of the upper hive. He chooses to be down there. Hmm. This seems like a man quite capable. Well, he did best me in combat. Hmm. And, uh, how did you repay him, uh, said Slight? Well, I wasn't happy about that. But, we did offer to take him off planet, take him back with us. And, he, uh, how did you respond to said offer? He wanted to protect his people. Without his aid, we would not have been able to take down Pharaoh Fane. And how did he ex uh, take this offer? At first, he wanted he wanted it. He wanted to get off world, but he elected to stay with his people. Hmm. Without him, we would not have been able to make it. Acolyte Roseless. If you ever were to encounter this man again, tell him that he has the Emperor's blessing, and that he does the Emperor's work. Yes, my lord. Now, did you recover any further Sino's artifacts? Several. They're in possession of... They're in the possession of Tobian. Except for one, my lord. One I hid from him. Describe these artifacts. One was a statue. Some profane thing. The next was some type of necklace of some sort. But each one had a psychic presence. Did they seem... similar to the other Zeno's artifacts? Its effects. Its appearance. Yes, my lord. Have Tobian double-check. His psychic sense should be able to tell you if they are connected. My lord, I worry for Tobian. You do? Yes. His, How um, so? His sanity is starting to break. Mm. Has he shown any 
erratic behavior, other than what might ex- be explained by his witch mind. I will admit, I haven't wor- worked closely with the witch minds, but his behavior definitely has changed. His more, his actions are not thought out. They're just done by instinct. Mm. Now, they do not con. Uh, they are not those of a Mordian Iron Guard. No, my lord. I see. Perhaps his old age is catching up with him. Maybe. I will have to look into it. Until then, keep a further eye on him. If he proves to be a problem, have Dr. Polonia sedate him, and we will take him away, should the need arise. My lord, he made a request of me. What was it? To kill him. A reasonable enough demand. Those that have the Psyker's curse are under constant threat. And, should the need arise, a bolt around to the head should be what takes care of it. I'd like to move on to my report on the men that are serving under me, which in turn serve under you. Indeed. What is your initial assessment? Baltarvak. The old and irradiated servant of the Omnissiah. His the... scheming is getting the best of him, I believe. He's losing track of the main mission at hand. Tarvak is an unusual mind. It works on multiple levels. If he is indeed scheming, as you say, I will trust that it is for the good betterment of the warband. Should anything prove otherwise, you have full sanction to eliminate him as you see fit, be that removal or destruction. Very well, my lord. So far he's proved useful, and fiercely loyal in combat. Mm. Though his combat prowess could use some work. It is not his combat prowess that he has been recruited. It is his mind. Moving on, we got Harold Blackbeard. Indeed, the Fraxian blood knife. My lord, I've never seen a fighting style quite like his. Its efficiency is... Well, his achievements so far speak for themselves. Indeed, you should have seen him when I recruited him. On the war world of Myros Kappa, I found him under a pile of dead orcs. The fact that he was still alive meant that he was marked out for great things, and I snatched him up. The Praxians have a wonderful love of their blade work, and I suppose you noticed that his disdain for his last gun went uh, further than it should have. Well, considering he discarded it on multiple occasions, yes. Indeed. His obsession with the chain weaponry of the Departmento Munitorum is something of a, an acquired trait, shall we say. My lord, I've trained with the Sororitas. I know how to handle a blade. But his... his fighting style is that of an orc. Indeed. That is what makes him so powerful. He adapts yes. and kills. Yes. And he does it in the name of the Emperor. And truly, what else could you wish for? My lord, he is fiercely loyal, and I cannot congratulate him enough. When it came down to it, he was the first into the fray to protect all of us. And he will be rightly rewarded for his service. Next up... Are the two that you took back? Ah, yes. Harlock and Trooper Daedalus have been recalled to join me personally. Their skills, I fear, will be more useful at my side than yours. While they served with us, they were extremely useful. Harlock especially. His skill with his rifle is to be commended. But 
I think the good doctor, Polonia, is a bit better. Hmm. I would pay good... I would pay good throne guilt to see a shooting match between the two of them, though I would say that my money would be on Harlock. My lord, I've watched them both in the field. Where Harlock would get precision kills, Polonia could take people apart by knowing the anatomy of their bodies. Even if the weapon doesn't kill them, they are... they're, they're not going to harm us anymore. She can incapac incapacitate almost any enemy and without her Ferris Fane would have killed all of us I see her medical skills saved us indeed she is able to shoot every part of the body and name every single bone that she breaks that is a useful skill set to the Inquisition my lord there are two more things that I want to report on Indeed. I'm sure both Harvak gave you an extensive report on myself. Indeed, his preliminary report was thorough, though I expect a full copy when the Larisian arrives. I will admit, I was not prepared for this. My studies, my training, everything that I've done could never prepare me for this. My lord... What we saw, I cannot speak to this man. I'm sure Beltarvac's report had it in it. Indeed. What can you tell me of the creature you saw? It was a rather large creature standing at about three meters. It stood the taller than a space marine, my lord. It wielded a bone club of some sort, and just standing next to it horrified all of us. I could hear thousands of voices screaming in my head all at once as I s stared at this creature. And how did you take it down? I tried to break Pharaoh Fane first. I charged him, but... I was ill-prepared. My lord, I feel as though I need to go back to the sororities to train for a little bit before our next mission. I will send a request to the canoness. Speak with her, and she will provide you with what you need. The mistress is not going to like this. Beltarvak was beaten very badly by this creature. Harold was as well. His leg sustained massive damage. He's currently recuperating, but he's more than likely going to need a bionic. The Emperor protects. Polonia was the one to finally kill both of them. Hmm. A commendable feat. I will make sure the Inquisition Archives notes down her achievement for future reference. My lord, for my ill actions in the field, I feel as though I am not fit to lead this warband. And what makes you say that, Acolyte Roseless? All of these men, they're soldiers. They know what they're doing. They do the Emperor's job, and they do it well. I hesitated. I was scared. They are soldiers, and you are a leader. Without you, they would run around like Grox with their head cut off. You are what give them direction. And this is what your purpose is. This is why you are one of my acolytes, to be a leader of men, and to see it done. Thank you, my lord. Now, I must return to them. <laughs>